Keep okay. My ponytail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shake my little bunny tail. <laughs> Shake my little bunny tail. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another Mommy Daughter Crafting Shack. My name is Abby. And I'm Tiffany. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. We would really appreciate it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will also, <laughs> I will also have the link to the video tutorial that I watched how to make these super cute little um pom-pom bunnies for perfect for springtime craft and it is a little time consuming because you know you're making the little pom-poms but it's super cute and fun and easy so um let's get started hi everybody today we are gonna be doing another mommy daughter crafting chat video my mom is in this video this time <laughs> but she has splotches on her nails but that's fine and so this is what you need for the video scissors to cut out circles buttons for the nose whatever you want but we're using um this for the eyeballs i call them eyeballs not eyes and si did it scissors to cut out circles for the ears and I mean the face and my mom made this one earlier and it's a fuzzball face and yarn for no, the string. string for the whiskers yarn for the head and the body head and the body and And the ears. No, felt for the ears. Felt for the ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the cardboard circles, this makes it easy to do the pom-poms. You can always do, wrap it around your fingers if you want smaller ones or whatever. But I saw a video, which I will link down below, of course, uh, to how um, to make these pom-pom bunnies. And she used thicker fluffier yarn which I would recommend this is going to be kind of like a scraggly looking bunny but that's okay so the cardboard you're going to cut at 10 centimeters so you're going to cut two of them 10 centimeters and I just used you know you can use household items to make the circle to cut out <clears throat> and then the center is three and a half centimeters or about about three and a half centimeters and then you're going to want to cut a slit so we so you can wrap the yarn around we were trying to be do this on the cheap so we got the cheapest that we could find um abby's going to do like this tannish color with the specks in it and i'm going to do gray and then you're going to need white for the tail of course they're called speckles speckles, specks. oh speckles excuse me let's get started and it can be a purple bunny, or a gray bunny, or a speckle bunny, or, or a white bunny, or a black bunny, whatever kind of bunny are you, you want. Except... Because they're all cute. Bunnies are just so adorable, huh? Yes. And we can download our, um, this to Easter. Huh? We can download it to Easter videos, so it can be in the Easter section. Oh, okay. And my mom does this kind of stuff, so yeah. The editing part? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know how to do it. Okay, let me move these out my of the way. My mom will let me use sharp scissors. Move all the stuff. And I think we're going to wrap it uh, probably twice or three times um, more than we did this one to make it a little bit fluffier to hopefully get a little bit more fuller. Let me back my fuzzball. It's my fuzzball. Okay, so you're going to take it, Abby, and you're going to hold it first like this. 
Okay, now I know what to do. Then you're gonna bring it around and keep wrapping it. But you gotta kind of move slightly so it's a little over. Is this for the little taily? This one's for the body and this one's for the head. So you wanna try? Yeah. Good. You gonna tell him that we went to see Beauty and the Beast? So we went to see Beauty and the Beast. Make sure you show us. And it was awesome, huh, Abby? Yeah. It was so awesome. What was your favorite part? Uh, when the doggy chair turned back to the dog. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? It kind of looks like a watermelon. Try to do it a little tight so that... Like hold it like mm -hmm. this. Oh, don't wrap your finger. <laughs> And this is uh, a really cute idea for Easter craft for kids. Sometimes I cross eye. You know, oh yes, she loves doing her eyes cross-eyed. Um, and we did paint this. It was just a little, like, um, not a crate. Well, I guess it's a tiny little crate type box that I got at the thrift hey, store. Hey, you're smushing the head. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we just painted it with some uh, Prima Chalk paint. Yeah, and Prima you could, Chalk paint. You could do acrylic paint or whatever, but Prima we wanted this kind of like beigey, not um, off-white color. And we're going to put some fake grass in there, and so the bunnies have somewhere to go, right? Yeah, we're going to make the bunnies holding Easter eggs. Yes. Okay, I think we're going to skip through. So all you do is you just wrap it around and moving it. And you're gonna wanna do, if you get the cheaper yarn, you're gonna wanna do it a few times all the way around the whole thing so that it's nice and fluffy. And you have a full little... Where's my fluff ball? You're squishing fluff her. Fluff ball, oh, sorry. You're squishing her. This is what the head's gonna look like. Okay. So we will be back once we get all of our um, fluff balls done <laughs> to show you the next step. Yeah, fluff ball. Okay, so after you wrap it around uh, the desired amount that you want, I think that's pretty good. And I think this is probably about twice as much as I did uh, the first one. So I think it'll be a little bit more fluffier. So this is where you um, the two s sections of the cardboard come in handy because you take your scissors and you're going to want to hold the yarn of course and you're going to cut in between the cardboard and to split the yarn in half always have your always have a parent helping you with scissors yeah if you're a young child huh and guess what? I can do big knives and put them in the holder. Oh, when you do your chores? Yeah. When you put away the dishes? Without even cutting myself. Oh, I forgot to cut this off. Mama? Yep. Do any of the people like coffee that that subscribe? I don't know, ask them. Do any of you guys like coffee? So yesterday when we were gonna do the video, I was getting a coffee and Abby says, don't get coffee, you can't be drinking coffee because, what did you say Abby? Because, uh. Do you remember what you said? Mm. Because you said that people won't like it if I drink coffee mm -hmm. and people won't subscribe to me. And I told her that probably the majority of people that watch me probably like coffee. <laughs> and that's All right, so, so you're just gonna continue to cut it and we have to change the battery, so we'll be right back. What are you doing? Are you okay, doing? so after you've cut down the middle and you're gonna wanna hold your yarn really good or else it's going to fly everywhere and then all that effort and time is going to be wasted so see i'm losing some because i had to change the battery one-handed and it was kind of a pain but so you're going to take your string an extra 
um, piece of yarn and you're going to put it in the middle here and you're going to run it through and around and around here and carefully this is where if you know your child is young they're going to need help and you're going to take it and tie it tight go Abby's filling up her water okay now that it's tied you're just gonna slip these off okay so after you have it tied I found that if you kind of rub it if you get the cheaper yarn it kind of fluffs up fluffs up the ends So you just rub it with the Butt. with your hand and it fluffs up the ends. And if you want, you can um, use your scissors to kind of cut off some of the longer ones if there's, you know, kind of make it a little bit rounder. Can I? Well, sure you could try. Just try to cut off a little I'm bit. Put my hair back. Oh yeah, we always gotta put our hair back because we have really long hair. We don't want to accidentally chop it off, huh? Nope, see that's too much. You gotta just lightly on the top. Whoa, that one's really long. This one, yep. It's like mowing grass. Yeah. Can I try to do it by myself? Sure. You wanna get your little scissors? Maybe that would probably help, huh? Yeah. Oh, don't do too much. <laughs> then, you, then you're gonna lose the whole puff ball. It's called a puffy. You were calling it a puff ball earlier. I said fuzz ball. Oh, fuzz ball. Yes. April Fool's. April Fool's. Abby thinks every day in April is April Fool's Day. She's been April Fooling me a lot. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing for the head of the bunny as you did for the body of the bunny. See. So we will be back when we have hers done and then also mine. I'm going to do mine white. So we will be back. We're done with our little puff balls. Yeah. Or, or what you call them, Abby? Fuzz balls. Fuzz balls. And then we just cut down the, let's see, I'll focus, the little tail so they're little tiny. And then the more you cut, the fluffier it gets. So this is what it's going to look like. It kind of looks like a worm right now, I know. I think I should probably do another little, littler tail. I want this tail. I think the head should be a little smaller. Well, let's put the ears on and then we'll see how it looks. I'll... I like mommy daughter crafting chat. Me too. Because we chat. <laughs> okay, so those are my bunny ears. And I actually didn't even need to draw them out. I just kind of cut out a square of the width I wanted the bunny ears. Or a rectangle, I should say. And then I, I rounded it off. Why did you cut out a rectangle? Because that's how the shape of the ears, watch. So let me get this a little straighter. Okay. Get my chair so I can stand on then you just kind of round it off, just like that. You're gonna do the same thing for the center of the ear. So see, the rectangle can be turned into like ears. A oval kind of. Yeah, like a half ovally shape. <laughs> kind of hard to explain the shape, but yeah. An ear shape. A bunny ear shape. Yeah. I like the bunny tails. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut this. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. A lot of fuzz fuzzies in the air, huh, Chabs? Yeah, a lot of fuzz. Fuzz. 
So I'm going to glue the pink part to the outer ear part. I would do the outer ear and then the pink part. Okay. Then I'm going to pinch them like this. <laughs> so I'm going to stick a little glue on the center in the center on the bottom and then just pinch them just like this. I'm a big laugher. And then you can kind of curve them and shape them how you want. And then we can, after mm -hmm. that, after, at the end of the video, can we show them how we play with the bunnies? Sure. Then I'm going to find where I like it the most and add the bunny ear here. Mom, I'm going to use some wet. I'm going to do this for the little smile, and then I'm going to use some white buttons of yours and then I'm gonna uh what's it called glue them onto the bunny mouth to make it the little teeth mm -hmm. oh that's a cute idea are you gonna do that too because then it will make it have a mouth <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna glue the other ear on. Stretch my little fingers. They're so tired. I'm sorry, fingers. Yeah. They're sleepy and right just now. Just kind of fluff them around, <laughs> shape them how I want them. And then I'm gonna glue the head to the body. So you want a lot of glue so that it sticks and then can I see let where you to, like it? Let me to get you another glue thing so you can put it back in. Okay, I don't know why we didn't think about this before. I'm trying to struggle making the little tails here. Cotton balls. Cotton balls for the little cotton, cotton tail. Okay, careful with the... I'll just put it right here for now. Oh, then let me zip it up. So the cotton balls don't fall out. There we go. Cute little bunny. Little cute little tail. Okay, let me do Abby's. Put hers together. Unless you want yours like this. No. no. Okay. It looks like it looks like a bunny that doesn't even have any ears. I know. And somebody took the eyeballs out. Oh no. And the nose. And the mouth. And the teeth. I want to tell you a secret. Some people cook bunnies. Yes, some people eat bunnies. Why? They're uh, so adorable. Because they hunt, and some people, that's how they get their food, is by hunting all their food. Because that's what they like to eat. That's how they like to get their food. Yeah. Some people eat bunnies and they're alive. Is that gross? Well, they kill them and stuff. Some some people eat bunnies alive though. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. What do you call a cow with no legs? What? Ground beef. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. See? It's starting to get hotter. Yep. You had to put a new one. I would have got you a new one. That's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to stick it right there. And oh, they're looking so cute. <laughs> if we don't they don't have my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stick Abby's. Actually, I should have fluffed it up a little bit. Yeah. All right, then the eyes. It's We're gonna so just use warm. these beads here. It's so warm. Eyeballs. I call them eyeballs. eyeballs. I have fuzz balls on my finger <laughs> now. Do I? Is my bunny nose? All right, so this is just some embroidery thread and it's thicker and then it'll stay a little better. Always have a parent helping me with everything. <laughs> See? 
I'm just going to kind of snip a little bit off. And you can use um, a bead if you want for the nose. I got my eyeballs. They're so ready to get on the bunny. A little bunny as a trim. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's dancing over here. On my tail. Just going to stick the glue on the button. I know you guys can't see our head, but we're... I know you guys are in the camera. And then you stick the whiskers can't. on the button. Got my little button nose. Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is. <laughs> Let's see if it'll focus on this little face here. Aww, cute. <laughs> so cute. No, oh, this might make it look like a pig. No. No? Okay. R E D I think it does make it look like a little piglet abs. Let's see. No, it's good. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Give him a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Your thumb is so much cuter than mine. Thumbs up. Yay. And if you do end up making these super cute little pom-pom bunnies, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I have all the links down below in the description box. And also a supply list. Most of, the, most of these supplies you can get at your local craft store or even just at Walmart. Or even at Hobby Lobby. Yes, Hobby Lobby is a craft store. <laughs> That's where we got them. Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby. Lobby. Hobby. Thank you guys for so much watching. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Okay, now we gotta do the outro. Okay. What so does that mean? It means we gotta say um, what we're gonna make next time. Well, we say thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, <laughs> if you. These are what the eggs are gonna look like because they're m and m -ish. and I already ate mine and they're so yummy. <laughs> we couldn't resist the bag of m ms peanut m ms at that. All right, I'm just chopping it down because you and want I'm it to be... I'm all our scraggles for my scraggle family here. You want... Right. You should be cleaning up and I should be cutting. <laughs> I threw all those... I threw the Scraggle family away. What's your name? Hoppies. Mm. Hoppies? <laughs> Aww, that's cute. <laughs> Mine's Cotton. <laughs> Last name, Tail. <laughs> Cotton Tail. Last name of me is Fluffy. <laughs> Hoppy Fluffy? <laughs>